ready to open the hood, useful for the tutorials. And for car parts, the right idea is the Mr. Auto app. Easy, fast, and with better prices than on the website. In order to change the oil, you have to purchase an oil filter, a pre-oil change cleaner, and an oil can. You can find the recommended parts and products in the video description, as well as in the link to know the type of oil and the amount needed. Turn your engine off, pull up the handbrake, pull on the bonnet release lever and open the bonnet. Open the oil fill plug. This will increase the oil flow when performing an oil change. Before changing the oil, we recommend adding a pre-oil change cleaner to the used oil. This will enable you to unclog your engine and get rid of any persistent residue to reduce your consumption of oil and fuel and to reduce the polluting emissions as part of a technical checkup. Before using it, start your vehicle for 5 minutes so that the oil is slightly warm. Then add the product and leave your engine turning over slowly for 10 to 15 minutes. Once the product has been added, you must not drive your car. Ensure that you change the oil immediately afterwards. In order to drain your vehicle, you must first lift the front section of your car. This will enable you to access the drain nut. Lift the front of your vehicle and put it in the two axle stands. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial, raising your vehicle safely, before carrying out this step. If the front plastic crankcase is present, you should now remove it to have full access to the drain nut. You can now see the drain nut. Start loosening the drain nut with a socket wrench and a 90mm socket, then finish off by hand. Be careful on the last few turns of the screw, the oil can squirt out immediately. You have to anticipate this by placing a container underneath to collect the oil. You can learn how to make one by watching another of our videos how to make a collector for liquids. Since the oil is slightly warm, we recommend wearing gloves. Let the oil run out for 10 minutes or so. On VAG Group vehicles, the O-ring doesn't come apart from the drain nut. We recommend replacing the old nut with a new one every time you drain the oil. Reassemble by hand, then finish off using the socket wrench and the 19mm socket. When performing an oil change, it is necessary to replace the oil filter. Take off the engine cover. Remove the electric connection by lifting the holding spurt and pulling on the terminal at the same time. To gain access to the oil filter, it is necessary to remove the bracket from the connector. To do this, use a ratchet and a 10mm socket to remove the fixing screw and then shift it. Using a socket wrench, a big extender and a 32mm socket, release the oil filter and turn it anti-clockwise until it starts to move freely. Finish unscrewing by hand. Place an oil collector, then leave the filter to drip for a few moments. Then put it in the collector, taking it out in such a way to avoid spilling the oil. Please support us, subscribe and like the video, that will be really cool. Remove the filter from the flange. Using a thin screwdriver, take out the rubber o-ring which is located on the flange washer. Clean the filter flange with brake cleaner fluid and a piece of tissue. Take the new filter and compare it with the old one to ensure that they are identical. Replace the seal with the one that is applied with the new filter, ensuring you properly oil its surface. Insert the new filter into the flange until you hear a click that says it has been locked into place. Rescrew the filter in place until it makes contact. To tighten it up, use a socket wrench, an extender and a 32mm socket, adding a final quarter turn. Careful, with this kind of oil filter, the new joints can be excessively thick, 
making the actual tightening process more complicated. As a result, you have to ensure that the flange washer is flat against the oil filter housing. For this step, you can also use a torque wrench that has been set to 25 newton meter. Screw the retaining bracket back on. Reconnect the electric connector. Put the engine cover back on. Now you have to put oil back into the motor. You have to be very careful and precise when doing this part of the job. Firstly, put the crankcase back in place, then lower your car back to the ground and check the oil level. This is something that can only be done when the vehicle is flat. Begin by putting 90% of the suggested amount. This will leave you a large enough margin to adjust the level of oil appropriately. You can find the exact amount of oil suggested for your car in the description of the tutorial. Close the oil fill plug, start the engine and let the car run for 30 seconds. This will fill the oil filter. Remove the oil gauge and wipe it down. Plunge it back into its sheath. Remove it again and check the oil level. The optimal level is near the maximum, but be careful to never go over it. Based on the level indicated on the gauge, readjust to obtain the optimum amount. Operation completed. Hello, if this video helped you, like and subscribe.